Hello guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, so today we're going to talk about uh, EpiPen. Uh, I've got this EpiPen trainer with me and I will demonstrate it as well, how it uh, has to be used. First of all, uh, we need to know a few things uh, like uh, why we are using this EpiPen. So if somebody has got anaphylaxis, uh, we know the sign symptoms of anaphylaxis. For example, if somebody is having cough, somebody is having wheezing, somebody is having, uh, uh, you can say like uh, uh, rashes on the body, isn't it? Uh, and uh, also you'll find like a child, for example, a floppy child, child has got a tachycardia, or cyanosis, peripheral cyanosis and all. So you will see a lot of things that can happen uh, if a person is having anaphylaxis. Why they have anaphylaxis? So they have got allergy to something, right? For example, like say somebody can have allergy from peanuts. So if somebody is eating peanuts, uh, or maybe some something uh, they have eaten like which contains peanuts like all the cookies and cakes and all usually they have got like this peanut stuff isn't it so that can be the reason sometimes like unknowingly you eat those things and which can lead to anaphylaxis so what you should have you should have a epipen now with you so you can save yourself right so if somebody has got uh, any history of anaphylaxis make sure they're carrying epipen with them and as a doctor we need to explain it to them how epipen is supposed to be used it's very easy first of all very very easy another thing is it's self-explanatory everything has been mentioned on the EpiPen right uh, today I've got EpiPen trainer with me because I want to demonstrate it as well all right I mean if it is original you can't demonstrate it fine so few things that you need to be very careful with before you use any medication to be very honest uh, number one is the expiry date so here you can see the batch number to be honest on the side of the EpiPen trainer because it's a trainer but in the original one you'll be able to find the expiry date so make sure you find it out that is really important another thing that you have to see is this clear window if you can see this uh, white color thing this is a clear window you have to be very careful because if it is transparent you can use it however uh, because of any reason it has changed its color i mean it has turned to uh, pink brown or if you can see some some sediments for example so that means the medication has decayed and you should not use this so this is really, really important. So even uh, the medication is not expired, but it has changed its color. Make sure you don't use it. So two things you need to be very careful. Number one is expiry date. And number two is this clear window. All right. So now you have seen like somebody has anaphylaxis or you have anaphylaxis or your child has anaphylaxis. How to use it? So let's read these steps. I'm just going to show it to you here. Right. So everything is self-explanatory. It is very, very, very easy to explain. Now, let me read it for you. What actually it says, uh, it says pull off the blue safety cap. So this is the blue safety cap. Pull off the blue safety cap. Hold orange tip approximately 10 centimeter from the outer thigh and jab firmly into the outer thigh. Listen for click. So that's the orange side. So you need to keep it 10 centimeter away from the outer thigh and then you jab it firmly into the thigh. Hold firmly against the thigh for three seconds. Three seconds, you need to hold it. And then what you do, you dial triple nine, ask for ambulance and state anaphylaxis, right? Everything is self-explanatory, all right? But you know what happened is uh, it says uh, uh, firmly uh, wait for three seconds. But you know, when you are stressed, when somebody is having anaphylaxis or you have anaphylaxis, so you may be very quick in saying one, two, three. So you can use one thing maybe uh, when you are using, you can say 1,000. 2000 3000 so our aim that you have to wait for three seconds will be fulfilled all right or else you can say like uh, uh, one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi what is the aim of saying these words so that you will actually wait for three seconds that's really important how you hold it usually you hold it in this way your thumb should be on the blue side this way this way remember one thing uh, blue to the sky orange to the thigh all right that's an nhs mnemonic blue to the sky sky color is blue right so sky or uh, blue to the sky orange to the thigh all right so this is the way you hold it and you take the blue safety cap and then you jab it right all right let me show you how to demonstrate it so you know blue to the sky orange to the thigh hold it this way take out this uh, blue cap Keep it 10 centimeter away from the outer thigh and you jab it. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. And that's it, right? And it's for one time use. Make sure you carry two EpiPen with you. 
right and if somebody is uh, wearing the trouser can we give epipen on the trouser yes that is absolutely absolutely fine and if you're not sure that this is anaphylaxis attack or is, is it just the allergy can we give it yes give it give epipen save lives right a few more things uh, for example uh, you have uh, jabbed it once and uh, for how long you have to wait so you have to wait for a few minutes make sure uh, the person who has got anaphylaxis attack uh, they're not uh, moving around they're not running they're just uh, i um, mean staying calm uh, sitting or maybe lying down lying down maybe left lateral position if they've got uh, any nausea vomiting feeling isn't it and maybe heads up so they don't have any problem with the breathing as well however if symptoms are not improving however if symptoms are uh, symptoms are not improving what you have to do is you can use the second epipen so we always advise the patient to have two epipens with them all the time so in case five minutes symptoms are not improving you can use the second epipen all right so this is really really important again what you can do when uh, i mean of course ambulance will come you can uh, get it replaced you can give it to the ambulance staff you can give it to the hospital staff you can uh, uh, replace it you can change it uh, through pharmacy as well and get the get the new one and make sure uh, uh, the person who is having anaphylaxis find out the trigger why they got this attack isn't it and make sure uh, you advise them that uh, don't uh, eat that particular thing for example peanuts make sure you don't eat peanuts make sure you check the ingredients of the cakes cookies and anything you buy make sure it doesn't have any peanut product all right and give the warning signs of anaphylaxis and explain it properly and maybe we can um, give them some leaflets as well uh, however but you uh, however you see one thing everything is self-explanatory everything has been given here all right thank you